Okay, so if um, everyone is all set, okay, we shall begin with theme five, which is on policy and guidance. Um, so I thought I'd just start off with a short introduction. The human right to science is um, recognized under Article 27 of the um, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, as some of you may know, and Article 15 of the International Convention of Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights. And so essentially under these conventions, states must respect, protect, promote, and fulfill the right to science. It must refrain from violating, interfering the, uh, with the enjoyment of the right, uh, as well as to advocate and encourage uh, the advancement of uh, this notion of right to science. Of course, here we are talking about normative ideal in the course of yesterday and part of today. We do know that there are many challenges before us. Of course, in reality, we need to um, grapple with a number of issues. How do we deal meaningfully with the, uh, inclusive, in, the deep inclusion ideally of, of affected populations as well as uh, uh, interested stakeholders in science as a moral enterprise? We have uh, consider some of the difficulties in uh, defining and implementing good governance as well as um, putting in place meaningful collaborations. Uh, and of course, we are now in our final theme, uh, following up from important discussions earlier this morning on equity, uh, to think about this uh, at the level of public policy, uh, because essentially many of the problems that we have discussed are also, in many ways, collective action problems. Uh, today, we have got four colleagues to share with us some of their experiences in four very different countries. Uh, we will first start off with uh, Anna speaking uh, to us about governance in Argentina. Um, many of these presentations, as you will see, will have common themes, particularly relating to the subsequent use of samples, biological samples, as well as data. Um, hopefully, this discussion will uh, make clear some of the messages that we ought to be bringing back to our policymakers and um, hopefully put in place mechanisms that will help address some of these issues. So, so with this, may I invite Anna to the platform? <laughs> 